Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. This is part two. In the last episode, we got a little bit of the intro out of the way. We got ourselves our good old Grookey over here with its gentle nature. A little bit unfortunate on the nature, but regardless, we're going to try and push through and hope that it can become something amazing for our team in the long run. Uh, we do not have Pokeballs just yet, so our Nuzlocke has not officially begun just quite yet. Uh, instead, we are now off to try and grab ourselves our Pokedex. So... I have made the decision that I'm probably going to record these kind of back-to-back, -back, um, rather than going ahead and taking away my capture card and saying it all up again every other day. I'm probably going to record two or three of these in a row, uh, and, and then obviously upload them on the dates Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Schedule should still be as follows. Uh, I've probably done a community post about the schedule by now, but just in case you don't know, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays will probably be the Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. Here we go, this is quite the big step, you know? My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Sobble a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof, and the great red and white ball. Mark out on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Uh, so, I can now go ahead and show off what I mean about encounters being random. As you can see, we can see a Rookity and a Squawbuck kind of rolling around there, but also, occasionally, these exclamation marks pop up, and that will always be a random Pokémon. Obviously, we don't have Pokéballs just yet, so it's not our encounter just yet, but in the future, when we come back here, we can use this as a way to get our encounter nice and randomized. Which is always appreciated, because uh, with the newer games, you really can kind of just grab whatever Pokemon you want without having to run around in the grass a whole lot, which for a casual playthrough, gotta say, is lovely, okay? Not having to sit there for ages waiting to get the Pokemon that you want, and getting unlucky, and getting Caterpie 25 times in a row when you just want a Weedle for a Beedrill. It's nice. It's nice being able to sort of see them all on the... On the overworld. I do think that's a very nice feature, however for a Nuzlocke it can make things too easy, so as I said, we're gonna try and keep things as random as possible. What's this? A good old potion? As we get our good old victory noise. We're gonna run over here and grab these items as well. If there is ever a time, because occasionally some of these Pokemon are hostile and the overworld sprite will run to us, if there is ever a time when the Overworld Sprite runs to us before we have grabbed our random encounter, like so, I think we're gonna run away from it and not count it. I think. It's kinda hard to make that decision, because obviously it would still technically be the first Pokémon that you would find. Um, but I think if we get a Pokémon run into us, even if we're standing still, for example, and one of these Rookities bumps into us on accident, I don't think we count that. I think we want to make sure it's as random as possible, because uh, if not, I could technically just wait here until they run into us, like so. And then we guarantee ourselves a Rookity. That feels kind of cheaty to me. I want to make sure I don't do that. Um, so we're going to go with just making sure it's always nice and random, exclamation mark, encounter. That was a level 6 Rookity, by the way, which is kind of terrifying, but we're going to run along over to the Pokemon Research Lab. Hey look, a Charizard. Never seen one of these before. Kinda of crazy. Uh, but we'll run over to the Pokemon Center. I can't run over to the Pokemon Center, never mind. I was gonna run over to the Pokemon Center real quick, but I guess that's not something I am able to do. Instead, we're gonna run over to here. Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. It was definitely pointed out to me nice and clearly from far away. You did far better than I did on my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. We got it. You got a Charizard. I understand. You know, it can go in its ball, you know, it's it's fine, that can happen. It doesn't have to always be out. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. I have never used a Yampa. If we managed to get a random Yampa, that would actually be pretty hype. I'd be pretty excited for that. My initial team when I played through this game was literally my starter in Call of the Night. I played through like the entire game with just two, those two Pokemon basically, so I'm interested in using some of the Pokemon uh, in this game that I maybe haven't used before, which is why Nuzlocke is always fun. Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. What's wrong with that request? You know, you gotta learn about the strong Pokemon. He's the champion after all. How's he gonna be unbeatable if he doesn't have the knowledge? 
Good to see you too, Yampa. Yampa here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. A better champion than you, perhaps? I believe it. I do. I believe it. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonya. What can I say about Sonya? Well, I like the way she cooks. Okay. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during the gym challenge? It wasn't just Yampa helping you out. I did too. Dun, 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 dun. The music in this game is always nice. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya. I'm the professor's assistant. I'm the new Pokemon trainer, Carlos. Hi, that's me, Yampa. If you could, like, join my team as, like, a level whatever Yampa, because I'm sure if she's done the gym challenge with you, it's got to be a decently high level. If you want to, like, join me, that'd be great. What does he think I am? He always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you don't have a Rotom phone. Oh, it looks like you do have a Rotom phone. Sorry, we do have one of those. Never mind. Hey there, Rotom. Hi. Hi, Rotom. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? But a map and a navigation tool? I said, we all still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no sugarcoating that. Yep, sure do. <laughs> Well said. In that case, I'll make it so you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Beautiful. There we go. We have ourselves a Pokedex. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from a, a gift from my Gran. I'm getting tongue tied. Would you let Gran know that you've received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route Two. I sure could. Is there any goodies in here? I genuinely, I, I want goodies. If I can find goodies, I want goodies. Anything up here? I believe. It sure isn't, never mind, I don't believe. I thought there might have been a goodie up there. But instead, it seems like we are just gonna go ahead and get on out of here. As we continue being uh, carried through the beginnings of these games. Hey there, trainer, sorry to stop for you. You just left the Pokemon Lab, right? So that means you've got yourself a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. A potion, not Pokeballs. Nuzlocke has still not begun, sadly. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon gets low. Knowledge is power. I do agree. I do. For right now, though, I don't actually know if we got nice and healed up or not. I'm gonna assume we didn't get healed up. We didn't. Okay, so we still probably want to go into the Pokemon Center in that case. As Hop is probably about to show us too. Get your Pokedex from Sonya, then it's time to meet loads of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. I like those words. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. I do agree that having these tutorials is really, really good, because new players that have never played through Pokemon before do need this knowledge. Um, I do just wish there was a skip button, though. You know? Sure isn't. Yep. I I know my way through a Pokemon Center, that's for sure. But just an option to like, I mean, that was a small skip, don't get me wrong, that is definitely still appreciated, but an option just to skip the whole tutorial altogether would be really, really nice. It really would. Uh, the hand-holding in Pokemon games, I don't want to say it's unnecessary, because obviously it is necessary for new, new people that have not played the game before, but... Back in my day, <laughs> saying that kind of sounds really stupid to me, but it did used to just be you just got dropped in and you dealt with it. And honestly, nostalgia goggles off for a moment. It kind of sucks to just be dropped into a game with no real knowledge. I honestly kind of like that approach because I do like difficulty. I like my games like Dark Souls that do just kind of drop you into it. Um, but I can understand why a lot of people wouldn't like that. Well, it is time to continue. Listen, Carlos, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Uh, sure do. Annual competition where we go ahead and battle gym trainers. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and talk to everyone over there and see if we can get ourselves endorsed with a little slip of paper that says, Hey, someone said this person's kind of good at battling. Maybe they should be allowed to challenge gyms. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Oh, goody. We get ourselves a revive, which is useless, but I guess we can sell it for money. But uh, we still don't have Pokeballs, so even though we are running along this route, 
The dance log has not begun. Over here, Carlos. Until now, possibly. Is it now? Maybe? Alright, Carlos, it's time we filled in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. It begins. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. It is time. It is time. We finally get ourselves some good old encounters as we are shown how to get ourselves a Pokemon capture. Look at this Rookity. Look at this Wooloo. I'd honestly be happy with either of these. There's not many Pokemon um, that I'm against having on our team. I do genuinely think that most Pokemon right now would probably be good for us. Uh, obviously we don't have any extra types, so it's not like we're desperately craving a water type or desperately craving a fire type or anything like that at the moment. Uh, so, just getting ourselves... I mean, fingers crossed for a Rookity because Corviknight is busted, but... Just getting ourselves like a Wooloo or a Squabbit or something like that honestly might be nice. Typical Lee. I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? I think like all of the Pokemon around here are basically 100% capture rates. Uh, but we're going to backtrack a little bit, I think. I think we're going to backtrack a tiny bit. And we're going to go ahead... Uh, and grab our encounters from the previous routes before we start at this route. Because we have route 1 to get an encounter on, which is obviously the correct order of things in my mind. It feels weird trying to grab our first encounter on route 2. So we're going to backtrack, we have our Pokeballs, it is time to get ourselves an encounter on route 1, and possibly an encounter in the Slumbering Weald. I don't know if we can go back in there or not, but if we can, the Pokemon there are like level 2 and 3, I think. So that would also be a pretty good encounter to get. So, as I said, we want exclamation marks. Like so. Our random encounter is going to be a blip bug. Not, I honestly forgot this existed. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot this Pokemon existed just a little bit. Um, I think I can just throw a Pokeball. I don't think I even have to try and weaken it. So we're just going to throw a Pokeball? We have 25 Pokeballs. Nice and caught. Cool. There we go. We got ourselves a Blip Bug. Honestly, it's, its name ends in... <sighs> Hold on. Hold on. We can call it Blip Bub. Hold on. We, we, got a, we got a theme happening on the team right now. We got a theme happening. Hold on. Maybe just Bub. Maybe just Bub. I kind of like Bub. All right, we got a we got a theme happening for the names of our team right now. We're gonna have an actual like unit. There's gonna be a whole bunch of Pokemon ending in Ub. <laughs> I need this. I need this. This needs to happen for sure. Well, our encounter was in fact a Blip Bug. I don't know much about Blip Bug. I don't know when it evolves. I don't know when it does stuff. Uh, I know that it becomes Orbeal. Other than that, couldn't tell you anything. It is a brave nature. Not the dream, I don't think. Um, I don't know how fast it would normally be, but plus attack probably isn't good. Uh, it's only attacking move is Struggle Bug, so actually I'm glad that I just threw a Pokeball at it rather than trying to weaken it, because it would have probably hit us reasonably hard. And the Nuzlocke has begun because we have Pokeballs. So that is our Route 1 encounter. I'm going to go see if I can get an encounter in the Slumbering Weald. I don't know if we can or not, but if we can, that would be great. Uh, so let's go back through Postwick. I don't think we can get an encounter in the towns. Towns are also classified as areas that you can get encounters. If there's ever, like, a water spot or something that we can get a Pokemon in. Say, like, if we could fish over here at some point later in the game. I don't know if we can, but that would also be a valid encounter. Right now, though, Slumbering Weald is blocked off. We cannot, in fact, get an encounter back on Slumbering Weald. Okay, interesting. I kind of thought we could. I thought the fence was still broken. I thought there was, like, a limit, uh, a little bit into Slumbering Wheel, don't get me wrong, that stopped you from just, uh, rolling straight through and grabbing, you know, the level whatever Pokemon in the back, but I thought we could at least enter the first part. But that was my mistake. So, for right now, what we're gonna do is grab our encounter on Route 2, I believe. I don't see anything stopping us, it is just time to grab ourselves some good old Pokemon. So... See what we can grab on Route 2. I don't actually know if we can, like, check what Pokemon can be in the grass with the Pokedex or not. 
that a thing? Current recommendations. Squawver, Grubbin, Rockety, Wooloo. Which are all on Route 1. Um... Can you, like, hover over Route 2? I don't know how to use the Pokedex. <laughs> I don't even know how to use the Pokedex, but either way. Route 2. We can grab ourselves an encounter over here. We want a good old exclamation mark to pop out without a Tootle running at me menacingly. Like so, our encounter is going to be... a Sea Doll. It's not the dream. It's not the dream. We don't want double grass types already, and I think this thing only really gets bied. It's not the dream, but we have ourselves a Sea Doll, I guess. I can see the, uh, the struggle against the first flying type that we ever have to fight happening right before my eyes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the flying type fear is becoming real, real quickly, but we're gonna try and capture ourselves our Sea Dot. We do have a backup grass type if anything does ever happen to us far, I guess. Is it gonna be a nice simple capture? Nice simple capture. We have ourselves, um, Sea Dub. <laughs> yep. 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 Sea Dub or Sea. I think we start with C, and it ends in UB. I feel like we, we mess around. C-Tub. I like C-Tub. C-Tub. I do like that. I do. C-Dub makes me think of like actual like dubbed anime and, and dubs of stuff. I don't like that for my Pokemon. It needs to be C-Tub, which makes me think of a giant tub of gummy worms to eat. That's what we need. That's what we need. Um, so Trutal's type, I don't actually know if it's water rock type yet already, or if it's just pure water or something, but, um, that's probably decent XP for us. And I don't think it can murder us, unlike a lot of flying types. So I feel like we probably want to try and grab a little bit of XP where we can, and maybe poke it with a branch or two. We do actually one-shot them, which is lovely for us. So we will absolutely bop a couple of Trutal's and try and get ourselves up to, like, maybe level 10. Uh, the EXP all is basically on at all times, meaning all of our Pokemon gain XP. I don't think there's any way to turn that off. Uh, not that I really plan to. I'm kind of fine with it being on at the end of the day. Just saves us having to, like, grind our Pokemon up. Realistically, I don't think we should ever have moments where we need to grind our Pokemon. Uh, I feel pretty safe in saying that throughout this game, it does a good job of keeping you on par and level. So, I think we should be fine. Unless, of course, we want to swap out and use a new Pokemon, in which case then we might need to, you know, maybe go ahead and grab ourselves some, some extra levels here and there. But also, there's Dynamaxes and Raid Dens. I don't know how many of those we're going to do, but we can get EXP candy from those, which would obviously kind of negate the whole training thing. Uh, plus, it's a good way to get TMs for your Pokemon and stuff like that. We'll probably want to do some of those. We'll probably want to do a good Raid Den or two. I don't know. I haven't really decided how we're going to do that. I could easily do them just off-screen as, like, a thing while I train up Pokemon. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Honestly, leave it down in the comments. Do you think that Raid Dens should always be shown on screen? Do you mind if they're done off-screen? Um, stuff like that. Training. Would you rather see training montages? Would you rather just see team recaps? All of that stuff is good to know at the start of the series because people's minds change. Um, generally the consensus before has always been, uh, team recap is good, so I'm assuming that'll be the same, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe not. For right now, though, I'm gonna go ahead and actually use one of our potions, because, I mean, we have a whole lot of them. We have 25 potions. I see no reason not to just heal up to full and walk ourselves into this first good old trainer battle. Hi. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. And as long as we get down to, like, the very, uh, the very end of here, I'll consider this successful. Good old Squabbit. Kind of wanted to use Squabbit, not gonna lie. I was kind of upset about the Seedot, because I do want to use the newer generation Pokemon. Blipbug, I'm actually excited to use. I don't know what it does, uh, but I am excited to use the generic bug that I haven't used before. As for everything else, like Seedot, Seedot doesn't excite me. Seedot's, Seedot's just there, you know? Obviously, Dupes is there. I don't know if there's ever another route where we can encounter a C-Dot, but if we do encounter a C-Dot, or a Blip Bug, or at any point in the future, it will mean that we re-roll that encounter and get a different random encounter. 
feel like I've talked over the rules enough now. Um, I am going to stop doing that. I do believe that I have covered all the bases. Um, I don't think there's anything left to say in terms of rules. I think we just gotta go ahead and continue, start making our way straight down through. Give me these extra Pokeballs, why not? Uh, I don't see a reason not to battle the trainer realistically, so we'll just battle the trainer on the way. Cute and strong together in combination. As long as we don't have to fight any, you know, Talon Flames, we're good. We're good. Chewball, that is fine. That is fine. We actually have the effective type matchup here. This is all good for us. Realistically speaking, with our current team, if we had started with Sobble, we would probably be in a much better situation. <laughs> uh, rather than doubling up on the whole grass type thing. But hey, what can you do? That's the joy of Nuzlocke, the randomness. So we're gonna bot blast Lauren and go ahead and start making our way down here. We have one more trainer. And then a hop, staring that door down like there is no tomorrow. Who knows what he's going to do to that door. He's terrified. He doesn't know how to enter a house by himself. He's got to stare that door down. What if the door jumps out at him? What if the door's a Pokemon? To be honest, give it a couple more generations, a door will probably be a Pokemon. Probably already is, and I'm just forgetting it. Um, Black Bug scares me, though, actually. Hmm. I don't really want to take a struggle bug, to be honest. Definitely not ideal. I mean, I guess we just scratch and hope it does a lot of damage. We have a lot of levels up on it. It does do a lot of damage. Struggle bug. It's going to hit decently hard because it's super effective. It's respectably. It's respectably. Our special attack is low. That's irrelevant. Doesn't matter for us. We can just scratch. Finish off the blip bug. Just don't have another blip bug. And then we're good. Okay, because blip bug at the moment, kind of scary. Kind of scary. We do gain a nice little bit of levels. About to send in Nickit. That is fine. We can go ahead and fight that with our Grookey. Grookey's going to kind of carry us through this beginning bit a little bit. Um, just because our Pokemon aren't quite on par in level just yet. Quick attack hits us for two. Terrifying, I know. Absolutely terrifying. Branch Poke nearly one shots in return. Grookey's going to be our carry for a little while. He's going to sit here. He's going to throw branches out. He's going to do everything for us. It's just how it's got to be, really. At least through the beginning. As soon as we start getting, you know, past this route, honestly, I imagine Grookey's going to, like, fall off drastically. But, uh, Grookey, he's doing good at the moment. Don't worry about it. It's doing fine. It's doing fine. Uh, I'm just going to potion up because I don't know if I can heal or not at any point. So we'll make sure that we are nice and topped off. No reason not to be topped off when we have 25 potions. And we can go ahead and scout for items real quick, I guess. But more importantly than that, we can walk on over here. Look, there's the Professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... But what? Hi, I'm here. Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. I like the bird staff that she has, actually. It's a pretty nice staff. Good walking stick. Why, Hop dear? I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Carlos. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya? I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. It will never be completed, ma'am. I'm sorry to tell you. I am, I am, I may as well just chuck it away, to be truly honest. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Carlos? Professor Magnolia's been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know? Like, what's in her fridge? Um, anyway, like how many different types of tea there are? That's not quite what I meant, but, you know, I am curious what's in her fridge. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Carlos only just started out as Pokemon trainers. Exactly, endorse us, and then we can make everyone else feel bad about themselves, losing to people that have been trainers for like 20 minutes. Win, 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 win. There's still loads they don't know yet. Theory, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. 
Let's just stand like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. Don't worry, I'll make sure your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Oh, well, I didn't need to use my potion, I guess. Awkward. Unfortunate, but either way. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Carlos. It do be a rival battle o'clock. Um, the rival battle doesn't scare me that much, though. I am gonna go ahead and go back here. Cause I know there's a TM back here. I've grabbed all the TMs before. Will I go past some TMs in this playthrough? My ears just got absolutely blown out by that, but okay. Um, I know where most TMs are. I'll probably go past some being dumb, but I have technically collected them all once before. I should know where they all are, in theory. Uh, as for Payback, we can at least teach it to CDOT, I guess. Um, to be honest, I wasn't even sure if anyone could learn it. I thought maybe Groupie could, but... Um... Realistically speaking, Payback is better than Astonish in like every way, because Ghost, uh, Ghost and Dark hit the same types. So Payback just seems better than Astonish. If there's a time when I could be using Astonish, I could realistically be using Payback and doing more damage. So we'll run Payback. As for everything else, I don't think we have any like berries we can put on our Pokemon or anything like that. So I believe it is just time to go ahead and start the fight. I don't know if we want to lead with... Do we want to lead with Grub? What are we going to fight? We're probably going to fight Wulu and Sobble again, I imagine. I don't know if he has another Pokemon added. Man, we're fine with Grookey. Grookey should be fine. Grookey should be fine. Let's go ahead and get this battle underway, shall we? Wait, there's an item over there. Wait, hold on. Hey, okay, I can't go back. There's an item over by that wheelbarrow. I know there is. Dang it. <laughs> Missed opportunity. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need an endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Let's go ahead and get this began, shall we? I'm rather interested in seeing how they battle too. All right, it is time to go ahead and show Hop that uh, that route did me more favors than it did him. That is the plan. I do love the theme though. It makes me think of Mirror B from um, Pokemon Coliseum, and I'm gonna be honest, that's one of my favorite themes ever, just because it has so much personality to it. This has the same kind of theme. It has a lot of personality to it. The music team in Pokemon has always just been good, in my opinion, though. Uh, right. Well, we start things off nice and simple with a branch poke. He does have three Pokemon. Meaning something has been added to his team. I don't know what was added. I just hope it really wasn't a Rookadee. It's probably a Rookadee, isn't it? Oh no. Wait. Not Rookadee. Please. It's not what we need. Oh, it's Rookity! Oh no. I mean, we stay in. Grookey, I need you to win this. You're my strongest Pokemon by far. It's level 5. You got this, buddy. Okay? The flying typing is scary, sure. I need you to just claw at him. Right? Right for the eyes. Hold nothing back. Okay, you held a little back. You didn't crit. Heck. Is okay. Is okay. Thankfully, we have a massive level advantage at the moment, so it's not horrible for us. But flying types are really going to become a problem. Flying and, and fire. To be honest, a rock type would be absolutely incredible for us. As for growth, honestly, it's not even a bad move to have. I'd rather have that than harden, I think. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. I think I'd rather have it than tackle. Harden could actually be useful if we want to come in, set up a harden against a type we're bad against that's physical, and we want to like try and harden and defend. I feel like it could be useful. I feel like Harden still is somewhat useful. Obviously, Iron Defense and moves like that would be better, but we're in the early game. It's it's still important. Uh, for right now, though, Branch Poke. We hit a Poke you. Um, get poked. Yep, we're gonna poke you straight in the eyeballs. This Grookey does not mess around. We have a stick, okay? Uh, it's, it's hard to defeat a monkey with a stick. It's hard to defeat a monkey in general. Monkeys are terrifying. They will absolutely bench press you. So... The fact that this Grookey is kind of carrying right now, it makes sense. It does make sense. But with that, we have defeated good old Hop once again. I saw that also Blitbug did not evolve at level 7, meaning it's not Caterpie Weedle level. I don't know when it evolves, but I'm imagining it's early because it's a bug type. I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. 
the sting of defeat and the joy of victory. Yes, going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Sure is. After seeing a match like that one, we have both been endorsed by the champion. We can now take part in the gym challenge. Uh, the gym challenge scares me a little bit. But, um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Do they Dynamax? Absolutely. Are we gonna Dynamax? Also absolutely. Hopefully our Dynamax is better. Thanks Lee, I swear I'll beat the gym challenge. Blah 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 blah. Alright, well... It do be time. So to get Dynamaxing, there is one more thing that we still need. So... Go ahead and reassure Hop that he is in fact the rival, and let's see these boys. Gimme. 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 Two very, very convenient things that let us Dynamax. How crazy. How wild. What are the chances? Look at this, they're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Bam. Just like that. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive. Yes! I'm so happy that in the, like, Pokemon DLC for Sword and Shield, they added Waylord. Uh, just so you could Dynamax Waylord. It makes me so happy that you can Dynamax Waylord. Alright, he said that he will become the greatest trainer three times, meaning he is, in fact, better than me now. We are going to get wrecked by Hop at some point. It is unfortunate, but it is absolutely gonna happen. So, with Dynamax in hand, Hop defeated, Pokedex acquired, Pokeballs acquired, um, we have told our mother that we are going to leave. All of that nice and said and done, I believe it is truly time for us to go and experience some of the freedom of the journey. The intro is realistically over, and everything <laughs> is now trying to kill us. Uh, no, but everything is kind of open to us now. Obviously the story is mostly linear, but we have the important introductory stuff nice and out of the way. With all of this text about, realistically, the legendary Pokémon, nice and said and done. Um, we've gone ahead and explained everything that happened, we grab ourselves our Dynamax Band. I suppose technically now we can Dynamax and we have everything out of the way, but we are good to go. Those are your Dynamax Bands, they let you Dynamax, where our Pokémon become big. <laughs> I I would explain it in more detail, but I feel like it's enough said with just being they, they become big. HP, possibly up to doubled. Uh, though we do need Dynamax candies for that, which would mean that we would need to do Raid Dens once again. But uh, I want to grab this item before I forget that it's here. By the wheelbarrow. It is a Great Ball, which honestly, maybe is somewhat useful. Could be somewhat useful. With that all said and done though, one last thing before we race Carlos. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering about out the tall grass, yeah? You move real slow-like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. We might genuinely need to use that sometimes. Um, yeah, the whistle thing that I have never used once in my life other than to open one of the Reggie doors in the DLC. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the whistle thing I'm never gonna use. There you go. I did it. I whistled. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. How does he do it? Well, I do believe that this is a reasonable point to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Uh, we got ourselves our encounters. They are not the best encounters. They could have been better. We are definitely starting things off uh, pretty rough with a whole bunch of grass types. Um, it's definitely going to be a little bit rough for us if we have to fight any kind of Rookities or fire types. But... Hopefully the future brings us some better things. For right now, I have waddled my way back into Wedgehurst where I wanted to round things up. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye.